What if I told you Samsung Phone has hidden features that can completely change how you use it every single day? And most people don't even know they exist. So first of all, thank you so much for your incredible support on the last video. The likes, comments, and subscription honestly motivates me more than you know. You guys are truly amazing. Let's set another challenge for this video. 350 likes, can we reach it? I really believe we can with your support. Also, make sure to watch till the very end of this video because I'll be sharing important details about a giveaway, including how to enter and when the winner will be announced. Now let's jump straight into the seven powerful Samsung good luck features that can seriously upgrade your daily phone experience. So feature number one is your side back gesture customization. So imagine you're using a phone one-handed while walking, commuting, or holding something in your other hand. Reaching to the top of this phone or the opposite side feels really awkward. Sometimes your back gesture doesn't register or worse, triggers by accident. So by customizing the side back gesture, you can place it exactly where your thumb naturally sits, which is right here. This is a narrow swipe area. It even adds an icon so you visually know where the gesture starts. So navigation becomes effortless and predictable even on a big screen Galaxy phone. So instead of a default invisible swipe, you can add a visual cue such as an icon or an arrow. You can adjust the colors and this way you can make your back gesture more visible and more accurate. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example if I go ahead and open up settings. If I go to a setting, to go back, I need to go and press back or I need to go and press this. However, in the back gesture, you can just go ahead and swipe like this and then go back to the back menu. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Navstar. Here, you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on and then you wanna go ahead and tap on Swipe Gesture. So here, you need to go ahead and turn this feature on. Now, Swipe Gesture will ask you to change this navigation bar to a Swipe Gesture. So press OK and go ahead and change that. Now, once that's changed, go ahead and scroll down and where it says Customize Side Back Gesture Indicator, go ahead and choose a side back icon. So I'll go ahead and choose a arrow. You can go ahead and customize the arrow and the background. And then let's go ahead and test it out. So if I go ahead and open up settings, I'll go into a setting, say for example, SIM manager. Now, if I wanna go back to a menu, I can go ahead and just swipe like this. And this basically shows me a preview of what I'm going back to. If I leave it, I'll go back to that menu previously before this. Again, mobile network, if I do the same, this will take me to the menu before this. So this feature dramatically improves your one-handed usability. It reduces accidental gestures and gives you full control over how and where your back gesture works. So it makes navigation faster, more comfortable, and more reliable, especially users with large phones or smaller hands. This also works on Facebook. So if I go back here, this will take me to my home screen. Again, on Instagram as well. Same thing. Now, feature number two is where you can allow more icons in the quick panel menu. So you are outdoor and you need to turn on mobile data, location, hotspot, and power saving quickly. So as you can see, when I go ahead and bring down my quick panel menu, you'll see this icon here. However, I need to go ahead and swipe down again, find all my icons, and then go ahead and turn them on. So this really wastes your time as you have to go through hunting through menus and nothing is visible because you need to go ahead and swipe this down to expand it. So let me show you where you can turn on a feature where it allows more icons to be seen in your quick panel menu. So this feature lets you increase the number of icons displayed in your quick settings panel, allowing more toggles to appear on a single swipe. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Quick Star. Here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Change Quick Setting Button Grid. Turn it on. So here you can go ahead and configure if you want a wide button grid or a narrow button grid. So narrow will give you more icons while wide will give you less icons. So this is wide, while narrow will give you six icons in a row. So if you want access to mobile hotspot, location, do not disturb, power saving mode, QR code, this is all can be done with just one tap. No need to expand anything. Just go ahead and tap and you'll be able to access all those buttons. So this saves time, reduces frustration, and makes your phone feel faster and more efficient, especially when you rely on quick settings throughout the day. So feature number three is where you can customize your swipe gesture handle. 
So if you're using your phone one-handed while commuting or multitasking, the default gesture position might feel awkward right here. Adjusting the handle makes navigation effortless and more natural. So Good Lock allows you to fully customize your swipe gesture handle, including its position, size, color, and the transparency. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you wanna first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and you wanna find Navstar. Now here you wanna go ahead and make sure you're on swipe gesture, turn it on. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll all the way down and here you'll be able to configure your gesture handle. So turn it on and then go ahead and configure this so you can make it a narrow gesture handle or a wide. You can go ahead and configure the transparency. So if you wanted to match your background, you can do that or you can go ahead and have a solid color. You can go ahead and choose different colors according to what your background is. And once you're happy, you can go ahead and press home and then your gesture handle will be changed according to your preference. So this gives you a better comfort, accuracy, and personalization. It makes your phone adapt to you, not the other way around. Now, feature number four is where you can show AM and PM on the status bar. So you wake up from a nap, glance at the phone, and look right here at the top, and immediately know whether it's morning or evening. No confusion or no double checking. So as you can see, it currently reads 347, but I don't know if this is AM or PM. So this feature adds AM or PM directly next to the time in your status bar, giving you instant clarity at a glance. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and you wanna find Quick Star. Now here you wanna go ahead and turn the feature on, then tap on clock settings. And here you wanna go ahead and find show AM or PM. So status bar clock shows AM or PM. So the 24 hour format will be turned off. So if I go ahead and turn this feature on, you'll see now a PM and an AM next to it according to what whatever the time is. So here I have 3.48 PM. So I can just go ahead and quickly look at it and say it's 3.48 in the afternoon. So it improves your time awareness, especially useful for busy schedules, shift workers, or people who travel across time zones. Feature number five is where you can create your own clock face. So instead of using the same default clock as everyone else, you can design one that perfectly matches your wallpaper, theme, or mood. So the clock face module within Good Lock lets you design your own custom clock for the lock screen and the always on display, choosing fonts, colors, layout, and even style. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna find clock face. Tap on it. And here, these are all the available clock faces which have already been built into the application. You can go ahead and use them. But if you don't like what you're seeing, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign here. And now here, you can go ahead and customize your clock face. So here, there are different fonts which you can choose. Let's choose that. Next, you can go ahead and add, if you want an analog clock or a digital clock, we'll go ahead and leave it to digital. We'll go ahead and place it at the top here. We can go ahead and add a text clock. Next, we'll go ahead and add a date. Here you can go ahead and choose all the date, different date formats. You can change the colors around as well. Next, you can add a text. So you can add a motivational text to your lock screen. You can add an image. Let's go ahead and add some images. So here I can go ahead and add an image. I can add a GIF and I can add some weather information. Now like this, I can add multiple things as you can see. Now once that's done, I can go ahead and press save and then my clock face has been saved. So I can go ahead and tap on this and apply it to my lock screen. So as you can see, this is my own custom clock face, which I have designed. I can press done. And now when I go ahead and look at my lock screen, this is my own custom design. So your phone becomes truly personal, combining creativity with functionality while keeping important information visible. Now, feature number six is where you can turn on do not disturb when recording. So you're recording a tutorial or a gameplay or a walkthrough on your mobile phone, and suddenly you get a WhatsApp message appear right here. Well, the bad part is, it's basically interrupting your tutorial or whatever you're recording, and it's also interrupting the audio as you have that sound effect of that message appearing. So in the Good Lock app, you can basically turn on a feature which basically enables 
do not disturb mode whenever you start a screen recording. So here in the example, I can go ahead and open up the screen recording icon. When I press start recording, you'll see that after the countdown, the do not disturb is switched on. So now whoever calls me or whoever messages me or any notifications from any app, that will be silenced while I can go ahead and do my screen recording in peace. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Nice Shot. Turn it on and then go ahead and find this option. Do not disturb during screen recording. Make sure this is turned on. So enable do not disturb mode during screen recording. So when you go ahead and start screen recording, this will turn on do not disturb. So this ensures a clean professional recording and it protects your privacy. Perfect for content creators, students and professionals. Now, lastly, feature number seven, you can find causes of unexplained actions with this module. So your phone keeps vibrating in your pocket for no clear reason. So instead of guessing, a module within GoodLock app called NiceCatch shows you exactly which app is responsible for that. So NiceCatch monitors unexpected phone behavior such as random vibrations, sound alerts, or screen wakeups, and it tells you exactly which app caused them. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. Now go ahead and scroll down and find Nice Catch. Go ahead and turn this feature on and then go ahead and turn on all of these features. Now, once you've turned this feature on, wait a few hours and then you should be able to see all the history. So if I go ahead and tap on sound history, this will show me all the sound which has been made on my phone. And as you can see, it's basically telling me all the sound from different apps. If I go back, let's go ahead and tap on Toast History. So these are all the Toast History. If I look at my Setting Change History, these are all my Setting Change History. So there's all these different kinds of settings history which you can look at. So you gain complete control and transparency, helping you reduce distractions, improve battery life, and understand your phone much better. So as promised, here's the giveaway details. To say thank you for your incredible support, I'm giving away this Samsung phone case. So this is a Galaxy S25 Ultra standing grip case. It's completely brand new and it's from Samsung itself. So to enter, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Click on the link in the description down below, which will take you to a Google form. Fill in your details, one entry per person only. So the winner will be chosen at random on the 26th of December 2025. I'll be basically using an online randomizer and I'll announce the winner on the channel through the video. So if you found this video helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. The more you interact with this video, the more YouTube pushes it out to others and it really helps support the channel. Once again, thank you for your amazing support. Don't forget the challenge, 350 likes and I know we can hit it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.